that could have been better. Old place has gone to hell. Oh, good. You're here. I'm just glad to see it out of the cult's hands, training those wolves to cause hell. And they've been shipping those crazy wolves all the way to the old lumber mill to keep an eye on prisoners. Now, we had a bear here named Cheeseburger. Bit of a local celebrity, actually. Had a soft spot for Chad's barbecue. But he got the diabetes, so we put him on a liquid salmon diet. Anywho, Colt tried to take him, so I said him, you need a bear. Throw Cheeseburger some salmon and he'll be eaten out of the palm of your hand. What kind of people do things like this? Worse than some of the sh And we're shooting it all this year. Ha! <laughs> well, you know the old saying, teach someone to fish. Fishing brings a body peace like nothing else. And don't we ever need to come back whenever, you hear? One of the first things the Peggy's did was shut down the airstrip. Didn't want no one getting in or out. You know, I can teach you a life lesson, if you're interested. Supplies. It's crazy to say, but if none of this shit happened, I wouldn't have found my purpose. Just get right up in there and give him the salmon. Cuddly little guy will eat it right out of your hand, don't you? 
Don't you worry. takes 10 days for civilization to collapse. Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his primordial instincts in just 10 days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. You know, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne All-Americans. Hoorah! One night there was a, an ambush and me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food, no radio, nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. 
Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. And in that acceptance, came clarity. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. I was looking at an opportunity. It wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was, it was my test. You see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough. Starts again. Follow me. He knows you're ready to do it. Look. Trials. See? He's got it all planned out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then he's got you. It becomes second nature routine. He gets in your head. And you don't even realize it. He can't ever go back. You understand? You can't ever go back. Come on. Truck. That truck's gotta be there. Gotta get on that truck. It's almost done. I've studied the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. They're gone! I know. That's an order. Everywhere. Let's go. No, 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 not yet. Not yet! Oh, fuck. No! 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 Sorry. Deputy, 
disappeared to, but shit. We really kicked the hornet's nest. I know you're probably out there trying to get your friend Pratt back, but us whitetails could still use a hand. Target acquired. Anyways, you know where to find us. Talk soon. They're fucking dead! Visual confirmed. Hey, Jeff. Fired over now. Not sure where you've been, but you should head on over to the crossroads where the girl streak used to be. They've got something up on the screen there you've got to see. Right behind you, Jeff.
fucking determined to sink his hooks into you, deputy. Now, I know you got out by the skin of your teeth last time, but don't underestimate this bastard. Shut you out. Father. Take them to John. He's ready to hear their confession. to teach me about the power of yes. One night they took me into the kitchen and they threw me on the ground and I experienced pain after pain after pain after pain. And when I didn't think I could take any more, I did. Broke free inside. I wasn't scared, I was clear. I looked up at them. I started to laugh. All I could say was, yes. I spent my entire life looking for more things to say yes to. I opened every hole in my body and when those were filled I created more but it was Joseph who showed me just how selfish I was being always receiving always taking the best gift isn't the one you get it's the one you give giving takes courage Courage to own your sin, to etch it onto your flesh and carry its burden. And when you have endured, when you have truly begun to atone, to cut it out like a cancer and display it for all to see. <sighs> My God, that's courage. <sighs> I'm going to teach you courage. Teach you 
how to say yes. So you can confront your weaknesses, confront your sins. You will swim across an ocean of pain and emerge free. For only then can you truly begin to atone. So who wants to go first? Hmm? Which one? Hmm? This is lesson number one. Someone's got to choose! Uh. For fuck's sake, we'll start with you! He won't regret this. I promise. Now before we begin, I think it's only proper that Deputy Hudson goes back to her room. Confessions are supposed to be private, after all. I am not here to take your life. I'm here to give it to you. I'm going to open you and pour your worst fears inside. And as you soak, your sins will reveal themselves. Only then will you truly understand the power of yes. I'll be right back. Thank John for purging me of my sins. I understand that. I 
know your sin. It drives your every thought, every action. Your sin is wrath. So I'll indulge you. Become wrath. Let it fill your body and consume your soul, because in the end, you'll still be empty. And I'll be waiting right here. We both will. Give them all the wrath they can handle, brothers. Say yes! I will give my life in the name of the Father! The angels will judge the wicked! Let them feast on their sin. Let them choke on it. Bathe in your sin so that you may see how futile your efforts are. Your sin consumes you, blinds you to all the harm you inflict. It allows you to dispense of human life so easily. Have you ever given so much as a second thought to killing? Drive the sinner from this place. Let them run. Let them hide. For no matter where they go, God will guide us to them. That is the power of yes! There's nothing more you can do here, Deputy. I'll come for you when you're good and ready. Leave this place. Gorge yourself on wrath. Because if you don't, if you stay here, I will bleed your little princess like a stuck pig. Holy shit, kid. I've been trying to reach you. I heard John nabbed you and I feared the worst. So I'm glad you made it out. Alive. I'm sorry about Hudson. There's not much we can do without John's key. You're gonna have to lure him out. I figure the best way to do that is to burn his whole fucking operation to the ground. So get to work.
point B to point A, but probably not in that order. Consider it done! God, boy, the wolf. Shaped like monkeys. Ain't that something?
chatter about the irrigation system not working. See if you can lend a hand. Can help me fix this place up? This place is what you call oh, a fixer Here you go. All right, man, I'm in and clench it onto the seat. Let's do it. Oh, that shot was off. I got to get over there.
cancer, and it must be cut out. But you refuse my help. You refuse to say yes. So, until you do, every pain you inflict on this project will be visited a thousand times on your friends. And I'm not sure how much more Hudson here can endure. Choose your Great next job actions wisely, back. Deputy. Do you have a minute? I could really use your help. We'll keep an eye on things here. Where's that coming from? I'm gonna move from point B to point A, but probably not in that order. Just what we need. Killer moose. You're doing the Lord's work. Code Brown! Oh, Code Brown! Oh, Code Brown! I'll get him! Warnings for hunters. A wolf attacked over the weekend. Left one hunting dog dead, another injured, and a hunter in critical care. His friend, who drove off the wolf with nothing more than his fist, said it happened so quickly. Holy snake! Watch me get my move on. I'm a bust a move except for dancing, it's escaping. <laughs> 